everybody has the ability to be a leader. And the idea that you are born into leadership is a, a misconception. The um, challenge is how do we teach people the skills to tap into their leadership potential? Because different people have different approaches in their leadership styles. What are the different pathways that we can demonstrate our leadership, whether it's um, through advocacy for it with people in power, whether it is writing a letter to the editor and educating the public about a certain issue. There are all different forms that leadership can take. And sometimes it's just as important to be a really good follower and be somebody's wind beneath the wings so that they can bring the power of the team to uh, achieving the goals that they set out for themselves. People will often say things to me like, I have no intention of running the clinic, or I have no intention of being the CNO, or you know, equating it to a position. But when we look at leadership, really looking at how do I transform healthcare? But we also give them skills in communication and team building, and how do you approach government or regulatory issues that are creating challenges or obstacles into the way you're delivering care to the patients that you serve. And that's why it's so important because you will be very challenged to affect change if you don't know how to do it. And hopefully at Betty Irene Moore, we're giving you the opportunity to learn the skills that will get you there. <laughs>